like spamming for the win. Hey guys, this is the Night Mascot. Welcome back to another episode of Donkey Kong 64. In the last episode, we finished this level, except for one thing I'll deal with later. In this episode, we are going to finish something that I said I'd deal with later. And that is the boss. You know, because I can't do the boss in the middle of the level. That's just insane. What? Uh, let's see if I can remember even where one of these things are. Um, um, this one I think. And I'm sure you're asking yourself, it's like, why didn't you just start, like, right in front of the thing, you know, as I was saying, we are now going to go into here and fight the boss thing. I'm pretty sure that's not what I was saying, but I don't care at this moment. Now I'm just going to randomly choose a different Kong for this special purpose, because I'm sure none of you really understand my feelings. I don't understand mine either, trust me. And we're just gonna feed these bananas to these creatures of doom, and death and destruction and madness! And the copying of other people again. I said I would stop, but I wouldn't. But anyway, so I'm just making an excuse so this guy can fill up on his banana craving salvation things of, of dinner. Exactly. I like this music. It's like so relaxing. It's something you'd want to listen to right before defeating a boss, you know? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. Depending on the reception of this next boss that's gonna come in. Here we go. I'm just gonna jump up here. And go feed the bananas to these piggy pigs. And these hippo hips. Yes. Here we go. This is exciting. I wonder what's gonna be next. <laughs> and stuff. And he's gonna do his little dancing little butterfly things. Because he can. And he's gonna be all the way up at the top. He's gonna hit the switch. It's gonna be so epic. You won't believe what's happening to your eyes. As he's gonna look up, it's gonna be Chunky's face blasted on top of the wall of sorrow and death and, 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 and some more ands, and sparkles. Well, you know the drill, we're gonna go inside right here right now, and do the boss thing. Do, 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 do the boss thing. Da, 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 da. And we see Chunky at the bottom left corner of the screen, being all scared at probably nothing. Ooh, a hand comes out of the sky at- Oh no, it's you again, isn't it? I knew it was you the whole time, smoking your breath at me and eating my face. He's like, oh no, he's gonna be all scared and happy at the same time. He's like, save me, save me. I mean, don't kill me, but save me and spare me. And the Chucky, yes, it is this, this jerky jerk thing again. And this time he's back with a vengeance. He's just gonna throw fireballs all over the place. And you are expected to kill him. He's gonna be like, no, 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 don't kill me. I'm just gonna fall into this lava randomly for no reason. And fly up back and just look at you and say, meow, I like eating you. So, and then we got another barrage of these fireball things again, which seems to be a trend for all these bosses here. They just decide to chuck fireballs all over you. Which is kind of a fun trend, I guess. Everybody does it. So let's just go pick up the bear. Whoa, 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 whoa. No shockwave of doom. Oh, well, okay, let's try to get... Oh, that's how you're gonna play this, huh? That's, that's... Oh, yeah, you're, you're just gonna... Okay, then. Fireballs are gonna eat me. Watch out for them, because they are eating you. Okay, let's try this again. And, uh, jump over... Grab this, pick it up, and throw it. Darn it, wrong way. Okay, I think I'm supposed to pick that up and jump over that shockwave that comes by. So I had to plan accordingly. So he's gonna do this once, he's gonna do this next round. Two, okay, it's five. What to say five? Yep, it's five. Okay, pick it up. Jump over the shockwave, toss it, there we go. You see, they, they mix it up in this, in this round, you know. Okay, now we're just gonna do the thing. 
with the spinning around, and we're just gonna do the thing with the running away. I hit the R button accidentally, which causes the camera to go away. It's like, if, if you never know what's that, you can hit the R button, you know, go to focus on the boss again, on and off, on and off, you know. And let's keep it on and focus the boss so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep throwing these things at me, and we're just gonna watch out. Uh oh. He's gonna breathe fire, and he's gonna eat all of us with a wall of fire. Oh no! He's gonna. Oh, oh, darn it. No, you're just a mean person thing, you know. You could just sit there and look at me, and I'm gonna jump over this thing, and you'll be like. Jumping over again, he's gonna be like, no, 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 no. You can't do it. Oh, okay, I thought it was longer than that. Okay, I was, I was thinking something different. I could have sworn I did that once, and he just stood there the whole time for like at least. At least a minute. So I guess I have to do this part again. I just wanted to show that off in case anybody was wondering. Which I'm sure no one was anyway, so... We'll figure it out. No, I picked up the barrel accidentally. And he's going to go do his thing again. Let's jump on this thing. Maybe I can jump over the wall. A fire? I thought I wouldn't. Okay, and then just pick it up and chuck it. Very, very, very easy. Right there. And we defeated him, so I would thank you all for watching. Wait, what? what? Okay, um, that's... Uh-oh. It's it's sinking. Like a kitchen sink. That That's not good. No, stop. What do you... What? No. Uh, okay, we gotta deal with this thing. He's gonna throw the fireballs at us, and we have to make sure we kill him. You know... Okay, let's just go and pick this up and throw it at you. Oh, hey look, a convenient barrel placement thing. Well, let's just hit him in the face like this. And then like this. And then like this. And then one more time? Nope, just three times for a thingy. And yes, that's what you gotta do while the, th while the lava thing is sinking. And he's just gonna keep doing this. And we have to keep doing that. And I just realized he's jumping extremely high, but that's also because of the place is sinking. So we can get this right felt. Messing it up. There we go. I think you can only get like three punches in. You could do it like with the normal punching, but that doesn't look as epic. You know? And, I, and I've even tried using the normal punching thing, and that doesn't seem to work very well at all, anyways. And the music is getting faster, and we are getting heavier. Don't miss! Okay, good. Okay, there. And we are ready to do the next scene of the place. Watch out for the fireballs as I attack you. It's pretty simple of this game. I think this is the last one. I'd better be the last one. We have to do because it took me like 80 tries for my first, very first time to defeat this boss. There it is, and that's the final blow. And he's like, he's gonna explode with sparks all over the place, and he's gonna just slowly dissolve into the lava. And then he's gonna be all angry at us. He's like, no. No, I can't believe this. You, you. I smell like fire. Curse you! And then he dies. We did it. That is so awesome. It's like, thank you, Mr. Barrel Friend. I'm gonna bring you with me. Set you right there. There we go. It's like, look at me. Me and my Mr. Barrel guy helped us out. Yes. Well, that was a fun boss battle with a nice twist at the end, I suppose. So, um, let's go exit the level and turn the key in. But before we do that, you would notice, if you looked up in the ceiling, there's a little switch up there. With a little tiny feather on it. So I guess that means we gotta bring some tiny person out thing and, uh, hit the switch with this feather, I suppose? <gasps> oh no, a fairy was trapped in there! We didn't notice until now! Oh no, I'm gonna go save you, if I could actually get a picture of you. <coughs> Excuse me, oh, that's one of my more nasty burps, wow. I bet that, that one sounded gross. Uh, okay, where are you? Where are you? Come here, there you are, and I missed again. This one's a pretty hard one to get, actually, in my opinion. Uh, let's see, right there, and stop moving around so I can get a picture of you, so I can save your butt. You're always complaining. Get it! Darn it. <sighs> One more time. 
Where did you go? Darn it. I hit the button too early. Come on. Stay still for like two seconds. There we go. That's how you get him. That's how you get Mr. Fairy. And she still got her gun now. That's right. I forgot about that. Let's put this away. And I believe that's all we can do with this part. So let's get out of here. Okay, now we can fly down as tiny, yes. And go swimming for a little bit. And now we are going to go to the place. With the little trap clumsy guy inside. And we see a number five key right there. It's getting closer to the end. Look at this, look at this. One, two, and then three and then there's one more on that side of that one too but either way we're gonna hit this open and see what happens yeah he's gonna be all excited he's gonna look around twice and he's gonna be like he's gonna look both ways and cross the street in his imagination oh he's gotten a little bit happier than usual and it's like wait what is this the ear has the hole in it and then, oh, what is this? It's a giant rock. Uh oh, it's a gigantic topic, Rome atomic cannon. Oh yes, it's another one of those levels that opens up two levels, and both both of them are the same boss that does that. Interestingly, so yeah, now we have a giant cannon that's in the background over there. That leads to the seventh level, but the next place we want to go to is over. Let's get DKL because I like you. Thank you. The next level we want to go to is in this general direction, but the number two is at. And if we just go over this way, and roll around for a few seconds, and do some random moves of craziness, jump over these rocks, we shall find there's a little thing on this side, if I can get it. Darn it. Okay, let's try this again with Diddy this time, because... <laughs> There we go. All right, let's go inside. Ooh, I see. Ice. I see. Yes. Anyways, um, we got a lot of stuff to do in this place, I suppose. So let's go and find the things to do. Um, yes. And there's a little banana thing up there that's barely showing up. But if we notice that. Diddy has a hard time going through this wall because apparently there's an invisible wall right there that I never noticed until this playthrough. But if we go to this chunky right here, we got these uh, walls of China we can smack down and they make noise. If we go in here, there's a barrel. We can pick this thing up and run away from the guy before he kills me. And then... I'm gonna take this thing and then it's um, like, hello, I'm Mr. Barrel, how are you doing? There's a switch right there. If we step on it normally, without this rock, it makes these little things open up right here. But if we step off of them, bye bye. So what we gotta do is we gotta set this rock on top of here. They stay open forever. Uh, I don't even know why they did that, but that's what they did. Isn't that awesome? Okay, now let's go over here and break this wall. As you can see, you got a giant thing of lava inside the ice thing. So now the entire place will melt in like 10 seconds. Not really. Okay, so we're just gonna go up here and uh, pick Mr. Donkey Kong. Because if we go inside this little slab of ice over here, you may notice that everything has turned to green for no reason. That has nothing to do with it, but if we go and grab Mr. DK here and go running around places, we'll discover that we can go safely across this thing without the entire place melting. Because if the entire place melted, that would be extremely bad and I would not recommend it. So we're going to go in here across the lava without dying and then just grab this banana. He's going to be all happy and floating down slowly. And that's all of DK's bananas in this area other than the blueprint, which I'm sure we will find later on in the game. So we can turn this off now. And I noticed there was a diddy ba diddy 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 barrel somewhere over there. Yeah. Okay. 
So we're just gonna jump up and go into this place. I believe there's not really much for Diddy to do with this barrel anyways. Oh, hey, look, a banana switch. Let's go hit it. Or let's go hit it. There we go, and she's gonna be like, Squawk! I found another banana, duty! Squawk! And, yeah, that's... I told you it was banana switch. And there's... Oh, he's got a lot more bananas to go in this level, now that I think of it. And, um... Let me think. There's one more thing we can do now. I guess, since we're here. And not over there. We can go in as Nanky and go into this place over here. And this doesn't even make you run faster. I really don't know. And throw some oranges over there. And die. Thank you. And that's his blueprint for the area. So anyways, I guess in the... I guess that uh, it's time to go to the next place. The next episode of this place. See you then.